A siren can never change her scales. Hey, <laughs> I'm Donna from Mom's Book Collection. I am here to bring you a recommendation video for the Nevermore-a-thon. I am so excited for this to the point that I'm a team. I'm a team captain. I am team scales. So please, if you are looking for a team, come here because we need more sirens. Let's get into the recommendation books that I have for you for each prompt on the scales. And I'm going to move over here because this is where the bingo board is going to be. So the first prompt on the board is water on the cover. And the two books I have for you with water on the cover that I recommend, at least one of them, because I haven't read the other one, but we're not even going to go there. The first one is House of the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I absolutely loved this book. And as you can tell, it's got water on the cover. So that is your recommendation for this one. It has magic, island, a dangerous task, and a burning secret. So I really hope that if you do read this one, you let me know how you actually liked it. The next one is Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha, Trisha Levenseller. I always get her name weird on here. But anyways, I haven't read this one yet. As you can tell, she's swimming in the water, water on the cover. Um, all I know is she is a Daughter of the Siren Queen. Um, I read Daughter of the Pirate King twice now and I really need to get to this one. So this one might be on my TBR for this readathon. The next prompt is song. This could be where you like have a song in the title, uh, like an actual song or the word song. You could also do you could also do song that is a title, like, you know, a Taylor Swift song or something else that is actually a title. And what else is there? Oh, if somebody is singing in the book, if somebody uh, is a singer or anything like that. I have two options. I've not read neither of these, so I'm sorry if I cannot help with these books right now. But anyways, the first one is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Um, obviously, this has song in the title. So there's no such thing as safe. I don't even know what to say about this one. So that, yeah, song in the title. Next one is more the fact that I read the back of this and um, I'll read the part I read to you after I let you know what the book is but uh, that is the siren can you even see that I hope so anyways it is the siren by Kira Cass case words um I adore this one you can even do this one for water on the cover actually if you really want to put it that way but this one says bound to serve ocean by using her voice to lure humans into their deaths at sea. And that is what sirens do. We sirens, we're badasses. Just saying. Next prompt is companion novel. So this is a companion to any book that has a companion novel, I guess. I, it's hard to explain that. But I did find one book that I can actually show off. And that is, there's something about Sweetie. It is a companion novel to When Dimple Met Rishi by this author because I am not going to butcher their name because that's that's horrible. What am I saying? I am horrible if I'm a siren. Only to men though. This is a woman so never mind. Anyways, I have no idea what this one is about but yes it is a companion novel and it will do for this prompt. Next prompt is book with rivalry. And I have two. One I have not read and one I have read. So the one I have read that has it 
is these Violent Delights. It is difficult to show you in the light. I'm so sorry. But this is by Chloe Gong and it has rivals in here between uh, the two main characters uh, where they, it's kind of like Romeo and Juliet. That's all I'm gonna say. The next one I haven't read yet and I cannot wait to read this one. It is an Owl Crate book and I've been dying to read it and I just haven't picked it up yet. But that is Only a Monster. So this is the Owl Crate cover. And this is by Vanessa Len. And uh, I have no idea what this is about because I remember reading it when I first heard about it and then I don't remember. And I'm not even gonna look it up because I'm a lazy ass person. The next prompt is book with a manipulation, manipulation. I got it, don't worry. Anyways, so I've only read one again the other one I have not read uh so the one I have read that has manipulation in it is Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo this cover is stunning and it's perfect because season two just came out and I cannot wait to watch it because I still need to finish season one Anyways, uh, so yeah, this has manipulation in it. The next one is Verity by Colleen Hoover. And um, I got this gifted to me. So I'm, I'm unsure about this one. But I've Googled which book has manipulation in it. And this one seemed to be the one. Next prompt is cult books. I have read neither of these ones and one I googled because I didn't know if I had any cult books and this one popped up and I was like no I just I bought this from my kids school so now I'm a little worried but anyways the first one is The Project by Courtney Summers and uh, I don't have any idea what this is about other than the fact that it is like a cult, I guess, right? Next one is the one that I'm skeptical about and that is uh, Come November by this person right here. <laughs> um, yeah, this one came up as a cult book and yet I bought this at my kid's uh, book fair a couple years ago. So I'm a little worried what they're selling my children. I guess I'm gonna have to read it before I say anything about that. Though. Okay, I have read both of these books and I'm pretty actually excited that I've read them. However, now I'm gonna have to research what other book I wanna put here for me to read for this prompt. The next prompt is book with teamwork. So I chose The Hunger Games. Because I'm sorry, there is teamwork between, you know, Kat, Katniss and Peta and the team and like, you know, you can't tell me wrong. <laughs> the next one, which you can't also tell me wrong because I'm sorry, I'm sorry, The Crow Club. And that is Six of Crows by Leah Bardugo. And I realized I have two of her books in this video. But it's fine. It's fine. She's obviously a good person for these. But this has to do with, you know, the Crow Club, Crow Club, um, Kaz, Inej, Jesper, oh my god, Jesper, <laughs> um, and the gang just, you know, the teamwork. Teamwork. Okay? Okay. The next prompt is Sassy Character. Yes, we are sassy. But anyways, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> anyways, the one I chose is The Shadow Between Us, which I also had read. Who is this by? Oh, Trisha Levenseller, which is another person on here that I realized um, is on here again. But um, I read this one and I... Uh, reminded me that she is a sassy character um it's about more as a girl trying to go for the king is he a king 
I don't remember if he's a king or not. Yeah, woo the Shadow King, marry him, kill him, and take his kingdom for herself. Obviously, that is a very sassy character, if you want to say so, because I'm sorry. I'd do the same. So the next one is book with competition in it. Um, I've read one out of these two. Again, like, it's going to be like that. <laughs> so the first one I read, Caravelle, there was a competition in it to get to the end and to hopefully uh, find her sister and, you know, magic. <laughs> the next one is Three Dark Crowns, which I've been meaning to read this one and I just have not picked it up. Yeah. And I realized I forgot because Caraval is by Stephanie Garber and uh, Three Dark Crowns is by Kendar Blake. Um, I have no idea what this one's about. All I know is, um, something about three sisters have to go against each other for the crown. And to me, that's competition. The next prompt is book with a bargain. I have three books that I'm going to be showing on here. So I chose Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Again, another Stephanie Garber. I have yet to read that one, so I really hope I can get to it at some point. The next one is uh, Deal with the Elf King by, uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna say that one. That's her name. <laughs> um, I look at, it's a deal, it's a bargain. And the last one is The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare and again it's got deal in the cover so obviously she makes a deal at some point. The next prompt is book with a loyal best friend and I've read one of these ones. The other one I stole from my daughter. <laughs> the one I stole was uh, the one and only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. I'm actually maybe hoping to read this one in this readathon. I'm almost dropping books here. So anyways, I'm hoping to read this one. I have no idea what it's about other than look how cute it is. The next one I have read and I'm sure everybody has and that is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. I'm pretty sure everybody has read this because it is the freaking most adorable graphic novel out there, okay? One of them at least, but anyways loyal best friends. The next prompt is good versus evil, which I have actually read both of these, I think. I think I've read the one. But the one, I don't know if I read or not, is Divergent by Veronica Roth. So there is good versus evil in this one. Um, I don't remember the main characters names, but like obviously there's an evil character and then there's a good character. Next one is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor and again there is an evil character and a good character. I just don't remember their names to be honest because it's been a while since I've read this book. I am so excited we are on the last stack. Next prompt is Diverse Books and the books I have chose is the Sun is also a star. Diverse characters is mainly um, the race of the main characters. I don't know anything about this book, but maybe I'll read it. <laughs> the next one I have is the one I've actually read, and that is Anna Lee in Real Life by Janelle Melanes, I think. But anyways, this one um, has to do with uh mental health and like eating habits and stuff like that so that is my diverse book for this one the next prompt is book with water creatures only with this one you can go with like a uh an octopus um a dolphin what other creatures in the water but i went with 
mermaids slash sirens, especially because we are scales. So obviously the first one is going to be the siren. So I'm going to bring this book back because we can double up. We can even triple up. So we're doing this one. Next one is Daughter of the Pirate King because there is different uh, animals in the sea that they are in. You can even do fable because there is also um, a certain animal in the sea there as well. So the next prompt is new. This can be a new release, a new book that you happen to pick up, or just something that brings new into the book you're looking at. Like maybe a new read, a new author, you know, stuff like that. Um, I chose a new release slash new book in my bookshelf, and that is Ravel. This is the uh, Alcrate edition. So I have no idea what this is about, but I've heard so many good things about it. So yeah, this is my new book. And the last prompt is Water Location. And the one I chose is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnstraw. And this has to do with um, a, is it a lake? I think it's a lake because the the one girl lives in like a lighthouse or something like that. So there's that one. Or you can even choose Daughter of the Pirate King or the Siren Queen or the Siren. You know, anything that has to do with a uh, water location in said book. So I am not holding up this stack because there are just way too many book recommendations in this video. But I hope you got some out of it. And I hope the video isn't too dark because I thought I had good lighting today, but obviously my mother nature just wanted to screw with me. So we're all good. So I hope you like this video and please, if you join team scales all the way and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.